Junior, Red. You guys ready? Excited? Hunting coach, don't know any other way. Yes, sir. Can't wait. Good. Like we spoke about in practice, conference is tough this year. We got high expectations in the media. But if we win more than we lose, we should be situated pretty well come tournament time. But tonight, it's midnight mania. All right? All right. It's a celebration. Everybody on this team has sacrificed a lot to get here, so you put on a show for those fans, all right? Enjoy it. Hey, Junior, I just want to just say this to you. I'm, I'm a huge fan of your father. Duke's leadership embodied everything college basketball is about. Uh, thanks, Coach. Have fun out there. Ah, no, no, no. Bring that back. Okay, look, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say stay humble. And we go bump. You go say stay hungry, and you're not feeling it. Nah, man, I can't see myself coming in today. OK, OK. <laughs> Open brainstorm is the first pass. Nervous, Red? I'm terrified. It's going to be all right, man. I'm receiving your energy. You are a weird dude, man. I hear that a lot. Stay humble, stay hungry. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's bring it in. Huddle up, y'all. Come on, come on. Talk to him, Red. Hey, y'all, I'm going to keep it short. Today sets the tone. So let's go out there and give these fans a season that they can look forward to, OK? Break it down, Junior. Come on. All right, y'all. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Feels like a little much. You win Can I every sing? time. It's all been in well, then maybe winning should feel like less of an every event. Every time just... feels like the first time. Boom! Yo, y'all up for some doubles? Hey, yo, Lula. No, I'm not good at this game. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm always ready to take the basketball team down a peg. <laughs> Why you say that? Okay. Oh, because you know. I don't. Do you? Yeah, they think we walk around like we own the place. Because everyone treats you like you do. Boom! Oh, Yo, I see. I told you I was bad at this game. Now I'm starting to live up to it. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't act like that. Because you're new. You'll change. But no, you act like that, right? Not yet, but apparently it's fate. But who am I to argue with fate? Oh, oh come God, on, man. You're doing that. Yes. All right, look. Uh-uh. Serious. <laughs> Big game coming up, boys. First game, right? You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> College is a new game. It's a big step, but my dad taught me to respect it. Oh, Ellie, hey, we gotta get to practice. Oh, that's because I was winning. You wanted to walk out like yeah, that? Sure. What's your name? Junior. Hey, uh, what if um, what if we win this next game and me and you do something together? And if you lose? Uh, then we don't. Text me after your game. So when's the wedding? You were just scared to say so. <laughs> Ellie. Thanks for joining us as we get set for what should be an exciting night of college basketball. In this game, we'll see the West Virginia Mountaineers going up against the Oklahoma Sooners. Joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Forrest Hunt, and I think this is going to be a really interesting contest. I have to agree with you. But both of these teams have plenty of exciting young talent. Junior. 
So it's the Sooners winning this one easily. And the strong performance from Junior, a big reason they won it going away. I mean, he never let up on the gas pedal. Pedal to the metal by Junior. And that's the killer instinct that teams are looking for at the next level. With performances like this one, definitely improving his draft stock, if you ask me. And for Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Forrest Hunt. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Good win, Junior. Yeah, I'm focused on is getting us to the tournament. Hey, that's why we brought you here. Play the game the right way. The guys in this locker room, they really respect that. This team needs a leader right now. All right? Hey, listen to me. This team will go as far as you take us. I'm going to need you to own that, all right? Yes, sir. Good job. Thanks, Coach. <clears throat> what coach have to say? Nah, nothing really. He likes what we're at. Keep those numbers up in your draft position, go be sitting pretty too, alright? You know I'm saying? You want to play on a higher level, alright? I don't care if it's football, basketball, anything. I don't even care if it's one of the top leagues. We're still talking about all stars from every state, every country for the last 15 years. There is no let up. You gotta be ready for that. Man, what makes you think I'm not ready? Just asking me that question tells me you're not ready. Because I'm not afraid enough? That's better as a start. That's right, because outperforming just your teammates, that's not gonna cut it no more, right? What happens when you feel overwhelmed? Because that's gonna happen. What happens when you feel like it's just not clicking? What do we do then? Work when you're on the clock ain't work. Thank you, okay, so you do listen sometimes. All right, not wasting my time. Look, son. Good to see you, dude. Respect. Thanks, young man. Look, your ceiling is sky high. I believe in you with everything I got, but you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in your talents. And you gotta show commitment if you wanna cash in on this. I am committed. All right, I believe that. I believe that. I also know there's always more for us to do. Always. Let's go. Thanks for joining us as we get set for what should be an exciting night of college basketball. And tonight we'll see the Texas Tech Red Raiders as they go up against the Oklahoma Sooners. Joined at the table by Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest Hunt, and no question this game tonight should be a fun one. Just listen to that crowd. College fans sure know how to get lit and worked up. I mean, they are being... And stolen by Junior. Oh my goodness, what a slam from Junior. So it's the Sooners winning this one easily. A double digit margin and no question that Junior had his fingerprints all over this victory. Quite the show, continuing to live up to the ever growing hype. He looked extremely focused throughout and as you said, made his mark. And for Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Forrest Hunt. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Why'd you dunk the ball like that? I saw an opportunity to make a big play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why'd you dunk the ball like that? Felt like the right time to energize the team. All right, you're gonna have to make a decision about what type of player you're gonna be, how you're gonna represent yourself and this school. 
Would your dad have made that play? Listen, coach, if I stepped out of the line and you don't want me to do it again, fine. I can make the adjustment. All right, Junior, I'm gonna tell you a story. All right, now I'm at my school. I'm bleeding out colors, but I lived on the bench. One particular game, everybody was in foul trouble, so I get tossed in. Now I'm thinking, good, it's my moment. I'm gonna give him the razzle-dazzle, behind the back pass, crossover, step back, I threw the kitchen sink at him. You showed out. Absolutely, I wanted to show that I belonged in the rotation and off the bench. We ended up winning by two. So I'm thinking, I'm on cloud nine, life's complete. Why do I get the feeling that this story does not have a happy ending? Well, coach pulls me aside and he tells me I'm back on the bench. He says we should have won by 10, but I made the game about myself, my ego. Every time I went, I wanted to do something special or fancy, we dropped possessions. Uh, I was mad. He was wrong. But then I saw the tape. Mm. You know what happens next, or you're just tired of listening to me talk? I'm mad because I'm listening. Look, Junior, win or lose, play the game the right way. Now, if you think that dunk was the right play, that's fine, but you're going to have to live with that, and there may be some unintended consequences. You got me? Got you, Coach. All right. Oh. Smiling, huh? Hey, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Oh, she oh, got you oh, smiling. Man. Look you at go. you, boy. You hey, thank you for bringing me here. This place is amazing. I come here every Monday when Madison's playing. It's so easy to get one dimensional with like everything that we do, like mm -hmm. training and film sessions and travel. And I just, I just wanna see so much that's out of that bubble, you know? Like yeah. I have to. Yeah. Well, I haven't found that thing yet. No? Why not? I, that is a great question, especially because it's so direct. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what college is for, right? Yeah figuring out who you are and you're exposed to so much just if you're open to it like all of this this makes me so good at soccer in the long run like at least i like to think it does and you play for the canadian national team too i'm i'm an alternate right now but yeah every time i get in line and they sing Oh, Canada. <laughs> I get chills. Like, I just, I can't wait. I, school lets me take assignments on the road as a wait, special wait, arrangement. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If my memory serves me correct, you said basketball players get the treatment. Yeah. That's what you okay. said, right? Yes. Basketball Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, I did, checking. okay. But you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I do. You Everywhere I go, people are asking me about the games, win or lose. Especially lose. Yeah, the expectations are high, but yeah, I get it. I mean, the fans, they take everything so personal. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to filter out all that noise. Yeah. 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 I struggle with it sometimes. Being good at this, it's a responsibility, yeah. Yeah, it's just all going by so fast. And I am, um, I just want to appreciate this moment. So thank you very much. Thank you too. You know Alex Williams, Airball Alex Williams? Mm. You don't know her show, bro, what? Should I? Yes! She's one of the top national college basketball influencers and she's blowing up for the Dope Blunt podcast and video channels. You gotta take it seriously. Cause them NBA draft hands definitely do. All right, I'll check out. No, 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 you gonna do it now because she's all over you. Right here, she singled you out and issued a challenge. Throw down. And she even hit me on my socials to make sure you got it. Let me see that. Okay, so I meet this challenge and then what? I'm sure she'll hype you on the show. Okay, and if I don't? She'll bury you. I've seen it happen before, stone cold ruthless. 
All right, fine. She wants to go, we can go. Mm. I ain't never been afraid of no challenge. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight for our presentation of college basketball. Our game tonight featuring the Oklahoma Sooners as they go up against the Villanova Wildcats. Here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Forrest Hunt. Looking forward to a hard-fought contest in this one. Well, you know, that's the beauty of college basketball in my mind. He's... You all right? Got a real question? Yeah, one loss don't define us. Yeah, but we shouldn't be losing. We still got plenty of time to make something out of this season. Nah, losing can be contagious, man. Fans turn on you, teammates question each other. They can get away real fast. You're going to have Alex Williams fall out, too. I don't care about Alex Williams' team first. Both can be true, Junior. I focus on what I can control. Okay, look, at this level, and at the next level, if we get there, the media is going to overanalyze every step we take on and off the court. And it's affecting them because they're hearing it and they're reading about it. Now, if Alex Williams is burying you, then we are dealing with it. And whether you want to or not, you, you navigate it. Okay? What's up, Julia? Good to see you. You too, Arch. <laughs> Man, I gotta walk. So look, I'll, I'll get right to the point. I know what happened between Coach Bishop and I is still eating at you. Yeah, it didn't sit right. Look, I want everything to work out between us, but Coach Bishop don't trust you, and he just wants what's best for me. Hey, hey, hey. so do I. Yeah. But you still want to get paid if I make it to the NBA, which is fair. You know, I got you here. You did? When you had your choice of schools, I never tried to nudge you either way. That's right. I was surviving before we met, Junior, and I'd still be surviving if you decided to never play basketball. Look, Art, you got me here. And I love this place and what I'm trying to accomplish for this school, but things can change if I don't feel like they're working out. I just want that to be clear. Hey, you don't have a contract. That's clear. All I can do is keep trying to earn your trust. Okay. So, you ready to see what the inside word on your draft stock is? <laughs> Definitely. All right, so look, uh, I gathered all my intel into one place for you to take a look at, but it can update as the season goes. Okay, so what's this all supposed to mean right now? <laughs> Nothing yet, but it'll all shape up as we get closer to the end of the season. Just keep winning, keep your numbers up, and your stock will rise. Okay, if we're losing and I'm not producing, then it'll fall. I mean, I, I was going to say it's not that simple, but it kind of is. <laughs> all right. Work to do. Yes, sir. Catch you later, Arch. All right, boy. All right, me. Thank you. Can you're, I help you? You're junior, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm Alex Williams. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um. How'd you get on the bus? How did I get on the bus? Yeah. You'd be surprised by how many people think Press pass means all access. Uh, Can I say what a pleasure it is to meet Mr. Big Time Professor Dunk himself? I'm just wondering whether I should call you a selfish player, a chemistry risk, or, you know, tell the truth and let everyone know you did it for a girl. Who told you that? I never reveal my sources. But his name rhymes with Ted. Listen, um, these other players that you're covering, mm -hmm. yeah, they don't get the same, let's just call it, attention.
attention. Attention. Yeah, attention. Yeah. So what's the deal with that? What's the deal? Well, I get it. It may seem cruel or, you know, arbitrary, but it's the opposite. I, I love the potential of who you are and what your game is all about. At times, it can be inspiring. Okay, and at other times? At other times, not so much, but you're growing and developing, and this is my way of helping you reach your potential. <laughs> so why can't you just say that in an article? What's with all these games? Because I'm building a profile, too. And games, conflict, that gets eyeballs and clicks. And what if you don't develop? I write a cuddly piece about you, and then what? NBA decision makers pay attention to what I say. I've built a career on honest, unmerciful critiques, and I'm not backing down from that now. Look, the stakes are impossible at this level, Junior. You know that. And even worse when you get to the next level. You might as well prepare for it now. Everyone knew your dad was up for it. It's a long shadow that follows you around. <laughs> is that funny? It is, because it's an angle. My, trust me, I get where you're coming from. But the media is a lot more twisted about the legacy of Duke than I am. Am I supposed to take that at face value? I'm assuming you got another challenge for me. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Two games, first and foremost. I'm all about winners, so win the games. Secondly, everyone wants to see you develop as a scorer. So bump your scoring average up from where it is now. What do you say? Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Nice. There's something about you. Professor Dunk. Mr. Big Time. Red. Welcome everyone to our presentation of college basketball. We have what promises to be a great game ahead of us. We'll watch the Oklahoma Sooners in this one as they go up against the Michigan State Spartans. I'm Forrest Hunt along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and we are just as excited as you are to see what this game has in store. Well, one great thing about college basketball. Any Welcome everyone to our presentation of college basketball. We have what promises to be a great game ahead of us. Our game tonight featuring the Oklahoma Sooners as they go up against the Florida Gators. Along with analyst Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest Hunt. Not Coach, good, gentlemen. A couple questions. Not right now, Alex. Right. Red, I'll get you next time. Junior, a couple questions. Okay, sure. Let's do it. And it's not like you really have a choice. All right. No way to sugarcoat it, Junior. This has been a bad stretch for the team and you personally. How do you bounce back? Uh, it's about looking in the mirror. Honestly. Assessing who we are, why we're flawed, and then trying to fix it. Do you feel like you and the team are close to turning a corner, or is this truly a situation where you have to reset and start from scratch? It's too fresh to say right now, but I do know I believe in myself and this team. There isn't any quitting this group, and we will turn it around. All right, well, from a personal perspective, if you want to be the top player in the country, which I know you do, what kind of adjustments do you need to make? It's about winning, Alex. That's it. We start winning, and the rest will take care of itself. Thanks for the time, Junior. Thanks. And, um, try whatever you want. 
I sucked this game. Yo, I'm not getting ghosted. She's on the road. Then you on the road too. All right, how many days since she texted you last? Exactly, delete her number and free your mind. We got a big game coming up and you don't need this eating you up. I'm gonna be fine by games. <laughs> See, mm. it ain't her. <laughs> nope, it ain't. Hey man, you letting the noise in. It'll bury you. Yeah, I feel like the media's out to get me. That Alex Williams? She's doing her job. No, nah, it feels personal. But hey, even if it is, if you were to ask her or any other reporter to stop, you think they would? Nope. Exactly. All right, that's what you gotta understand. It's relentless. Every single game, the fans, the media, the scouts, all you can do is play through it. Leave it all out there. How'd I hear you, coach? Uh, hey, hey, hold on. Hear me out. You got to get out of your head. It's time to step up. This team needs a leader right now. Let's go, Junior. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's time for college basketball, and we have an exciting matchup on the way. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Gonzaga Bulldogs going up against the Oklahoma Sooners. I'm Forrest Hunt. Joining me are Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And guys, does watching these games take you back to your college days? Absolutely, it does. You so it's Gonzaga picking up the win. You know, it was a subpar performance, and maybe it did cost his team. And I think Junior's got to be frustrated that he couldn't do more to help his team out. Yeah, I mean, you could argue it's a setback in his progress, but let's have some perspective. It's one game, and he's got many more ahead of him. And that concludes our broadcast. Thanks for being with us. Catch you next time. I asked you to step up and be a leader out there. You're right, coach. No excuses. Hey, it's a little too late in the season to just fall back on my bad. That ain't good enough. From this point on, every game you play needs to be played like it's your last. And that can't be an expectation for me. If you want to be great, you need to ask that of yourself. We're behind you, Junior. We go turn this around. Alex Williams, the fans, they're on me. Good or bad, it's time to get to me. So don't let him. Yeah, it's not that easy. You're the star of one of the best basketball teams in the country. It's not supposed to be easy. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to make me feel better? It's not my job to make you feel better. I just wish you were around more. Is it just me, or are we talking past each other? Why were you ghosting me? What? I wasn't ghosting you. I was busy playing soccer around the world. Okay, and what happens if this gets bigger and I make it to the league? Well, then I will uh, 
sit courtside at every game. And when you're on the road, I'll lay in bed and wonder if you're okay or how I can make you feel better. Yeah, I wouldn't even want that. Are you sure? I want you exactly as you are. But at your beck and call. You want someone to rub your back and tell you it's all gonna be okay, Junior. Maybe Hendrix Cobb will always be better than you. Maybe you won't win a championship. It's not the end of the world. This isn't helping. Or get drafted. I don't know. It's, this it's is not, not helping. Well, it's up to you to define the outcome. No one else. Get it. I think I need to leave. Yeah, you should. Ellie. There's a lot going on. And I let it get the best of me. I'm sorry. But I'll stay all night. I miss games, I miss class, I don't care. I just want this to work. Go home, Junior. Okay, 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 just stop, because I, I can't do this no more. Do what? Let's let's just speed it up. Speed what up? Whatever this is, I'm I'm calling it your Ellie Low moment. Nah, I'm good, I'm done with her. Yeah, you're not. That's good though. Let's let's keep it going. Let's speed this up. I'm not apologizing, Red. You will and you should. I'm at you. Now we're talking. I gotta figure out a way to get it back. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll talk later, Red. You're welcome! Everybody need a red, come on. My bad. Yeah? Hi, Madison. I'm trying to watch a movie. Hey, uh, you seen Ellie? I'm not sure if she told you, but we had a big fight. <laughs> she did. And our next door neighbor told me. Look, I know me I was and... being a big jerk, all right? <laughs> yeah, she said that too. Can I just talk to Ellie, please? I only want to see her for two minutes. Nope. Well, why not? Because she's gone. All right, so where did she go? I think I would tell you. Come on, please. I just want to talk to her. Uh, okay, okay, I'll tell you, but you better promise not to tell her I told you, or you're really going to be at the doghouse, oh, and so am I. I promise. Canada. What? Wait, hold on, when did she leave? You may be able to catch her at the train station. If you leave right Thanks, now... Madison. Ellie, wait. Ellie, stop. Junior! Look, I didn't want you to leave without saying bye. I'm sorry about what I said. Okay? I'm glad you came. I didn't want us to end that way. I got called up to the national team full time. Okay. Hey, hey, uh... So, when am I gonna see you again? I don't know. I... Uh, I might... I might never come back. If it all goes right, then, then I won't. <sighs> Look, you don't need me or anyone else to help you out, Junior. You're a star. Just own it. Can I just ask one last thing? Yeah, what's that? Will you please take Hendrix down next game? I think it would really benefit him. It'd be my pleasure. Yo! <laughs> Yo, Hendrix, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, if the idea of facing me got you down, look, I get it. 
that's a long list of people who feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that must be it. Hey, um, there was a game. We were nine. I was on the bench, and you was playing. And these two adults was, uh... Yeah, they said I had all the upside, and you need to match my hustle. I told you this story. You always tell me the story. <laughs> and one of the guys was your dad. My and... dad. Yeah. And you know my dad ain't say that to you? Hey, I didn't say he said it to me. I heard him say it to another adult. And you know, when adults say stuff to other adults, it's definitely real. Yeah, yeah. Look, man, after that season, you quit and went all in on football. It's just, it's been a long season. That it has. See you on the floor. See you on the floor. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's time for college basketball, and we have an exciting matchup on the way. We'll watch the UCLA Bruins in this one as they go up against the Oklahoma Sooners. Here with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest Hunt, and we're excited to bring you today's game. Tip Lee gets a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. So it's the Sooners taking the W in a close one. And in a close game like this one, no question that Junior was the difference. An extraordinary performance showing you can't run away from the DNA when it comes to his talent for the game of basketball. And that concludes our broadcast. Thanks for being with us. Catch you next time. Get your thing out there. It's bad. <laughs> Looks like you took round two. Man, your stock is gonna rise with a game like that. Nah, man, I'm just happy we got the win. Hey, stay positive. You belong here. <laughs> uh-huh. You ever saw a movie that you loved until the end it made you mad you saw the movie in the first place? Yeah, more times than I can count. Yeah. Won't be that movie. Supposed to make sense to me? Done the work. You got scouts looking at you. Even that Alex Williams business was a good and bad thing. It raised your profile. But these next few games, it's like that movie. Finish strong. Because I'll tell you, regression is the dirtiest word to a scout. You show a hint, it'll latch onto you like a bag full of bricks. That's why your father didn't make it in the league. I watched it eat him up to the very end, and I don't want to see that happen to you, too. All right, men, we didn't accomplish our goals this season. That can be a bitter pill. But I've been exactly where you guys are right now, and believe me, we can erase a lot of that bad taste tonight. Those other guys, they need a win to get into the tournament. So let's spoil that party. Junior, break them down. All right. Everybody around the country is watching this game tonight. And they think we all phoned it in and called it a season. So let's show them how much we still matter. Yeah, we got to pick it up. We're with you, Junior. Let's get it, y'all. All right. Win on three. One, two, three, win! Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's time for college basketball, and we have an exciting matchup on the way. Our game tonight featuring the Oklahoma Sooners as they go up against the Syracuse Orange. I'm Forrest Hunt. With me today, Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, and we're just about ready to get this thing started. No open threes. 
back to Junior. To take the lead. Buries the triple. Boy, that was enormous. Big time shot from Junior. And he wanted it. So it's the Sooners taking the W in a close one. And leading the way was Junior, who caught fire from long range. Absolutely torched the opposition from out there. Piled up points in a hurry. And of course, the attention he commanded from the perimeter created opportunities for his teammates as well. Simply put, he was special. And that'll wrap it up for us. Until next time, good night. We appreciate everything you did this season and how hard you worked. <laughs> well, I just want you to know, it's been tough for me, Coach. Had a lot of sleep, it's nice about it, but I know moving on to the next level is what I have to do. And we're behind you 100%. This university is eternally grateful. And I know I asked a lot of you, but you answered the call every time. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Why don't you get drafted? So that's funny to you? You notice how all your questions about the result never the work? It was a simple question. Why do you think I didn't get drafted? I mean, for real. You tell me. I know you had two knee surgeries in college. Nah, that's excuses. Uh, you stayed all four years? I wanted to get my degree. Try again. You were captain of your team, conference player of the year, all, all team nice defense. All nice awards, things I've earned, things I'm actually proud of. But the NBA scouts agenda, they don't care about all that. I mean, sure, you got leadership, character, defensive motor, all that helps, that's real. Think about those other things. Well, what position do I play? You're a point guard. Yeah, and with my size, my body frame, can I play anything else? What about my leaping ability? You can dunk. Can I dunk like those good dunkers, the good dunkers you even see at the street games? And is it explosive? A word they love to okay, use. Okay, so you had some of it, but not all of it. I mean, from my perspective, no, but from their perspective, yeah. And when a GM goes on record and says, you're his guy, and he says that to his team, his whole career and yours are inextricably linked. Okay, if I become a star, so do they. If I wash out, same. So they've all agreed on this checklist, this protocol, right? If Duke doesn't check all the boxes, and some other guy does. So they draft the other guy. They draft the other guy. Because at least they can say he checked all the boxes. Yeah. The fault goes back on the players, not them. Okay, that's why you gotta understand this mentality, son. You gotta make sure you check all the boxes for them. Okay, this draft cycle business, this is a chess match. Okay, if you're not ready for that, you are bound to fail. I haven't had a chance to bring oh, it up. Oh, and it's so good I already know. Oh, you do? Yeah. Harper and her team were in a top sports agency for a reason. They contacted me as soon as they contacted you. You're not upset? Why would I be? Someone take the meeting. I want you to. Root out the specifics. Look, just because you signed with them doesn't mean we're a done deal. We can all work together. Okay. I'm going to take their plan first. Here's the line. 
Oh. We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. 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 I'm the associate agent, so when you sign with the agency, I'll be here to support Harper on the day to day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced her name <laughs> walking in. It's fair, you have a lot going on. It's Layla. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Junior. Hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming down to hear our pitch. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time out to meet me. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here. And we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you, we have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long term. <laughs> we want to create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes already rest the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No, I, <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense. Yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet. Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position, and you know, find the team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. Maybe not the exact team I want to play for. Anything is possible, but it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not going to lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. Hang on. That's better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? Uh, no, not that area <laughs> okay. specifically, no. <laughs> my parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower, it was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Oh, I was uh, raised right down the road from you and Union. Oh, Jersey represent. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here, Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. Okay. <laughs> but it, it feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There is a little reality. Archie, he's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's fee as a parachute. But for us, we need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? From our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other. I don't like it. Not one bit. We're fine. We're not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take is a flat idea. You have personality and you have an opinion. Your boy, Hendrix Cobb. Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements. Big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes, 
Yes, it will. But you'll gain others. Others that share your vision and your story. Former football player. Newark. Your dad. You're the underdog. That stuff is powerful, so right, use so you it. You got contract available for me now? No, I don't. But I will. It's called trust, Junior. Uh, she says she got a movie deal available for deals? me now. Deals? Or ideas with deals may be? I don't know. It seems to me like you should. These big agencies, man, they, they pack a punch nowadays. She may have a little bit more firepower than me right now. But I know who you are. I know where you come from. And I know what you want. As if it were my own story. But fine, if you want to walk away from all of that, so be it. It's either her or me. You choose. Loyalty means a lot to me, but and I gotta protect I'll myself. Get you a bigger shoe deal, all right? I I'm working on a few things right now, but it takes time, Junior. Yeah, but the shoe deals she has are already laid out, and if I don't take them, man, I'm just I'm throwing money away. And these big agencies, it'll be what have you done for me lately if you miss your draft projections? I would never do that to you, Junior. I wouldn't even consider that. Now look, I just want you to reconsider, okay? Let's finish what we started. Sorry, Arch. That's the way it is. I'm firm with it. You know they'll cut you the minute you're not making any money for them, right? Keep your eyes open, Junior. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I wish you the best of luck, son. All right. As a projected second rounder, you're in a very unpredictable position. The exit door is already half open. Well, that, that can't be true. Projected means I really got to blow this to drop out, right? Mm hmm I don't love that silence. Remember when I promised to be honest no matter what? Yeah, and I want you to be. You have to think of yourself as more out than in at this point, not because I believe that's true, but because I believe it's the mentality you need to adopt. Okay, so the downside is that I go undrafted, but what about the upside? The lottery is too far, but the middle of the first round is available to you if you really put on a show and catch fire. Okay, um, so let's do that. Yes. What's first though? <laughs> Team interviews. We've set one up for you already. You're gonna wanna prepare. Here's some questions to look at. Okay, so this is what they're gonna ask me. Those are the types of questions they've asked in the past. It can always change, you never know. Hmm, got it. It's really simple. You're gonna walk into the room, the interviewer's gonna fire away. And I wish I could just say, be yourself, everything will work out. You're a solid person, so maybe it would, but always keep in mind what they're looking for from the answers. Intangibles, character, integrity. You're gonna do great. Junior, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice Go to meet you too. Seat. Thank you. This isn't a test. This isn't an interrogation. We're here to have a discussion, point of which is to get to know you better as a person. There are no right or wrong answers. All we want is for you to be as open and honest as possible. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's get started. What would one of your family members tell us about you? That's a good question. I think they tell you that even as a kid, I always wanted to be the best. 
I love to compete. Didn't matter if it was tic-tac-toe or dodgeball or whatever. I wanted to win. I needed to. And that's the first thing they'd say? Oh, yeah. And I used to take losing. <laughs> I used to take losing really hard. And I'd throw a fit if I didn't win. My family still teased me about it. Great. Let's move on. I'm curious. How do you deal with teammates you don't like? I don't worry about that too much. No matter what, I'm going to do me. So whether or not I like a guy's personality, that doesn't really factor. Could you talk a little more about that? I just play to win. So whatever I need to do to win, I'm going to do that. And if you're about winning too, that's all I want to hear. We don't need to be best friends to win. The world is filled with different personalities, beliefs, and that's okay by me. Are you the best player in this draft class? Yes, um, I believe that's the mentality I have to play with. Explain a little more. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm in the conversation, and I know that. Uh, but who's the best can be subjective, like MJ versus LeBron. Let's say I'm the best in the class now. It's irrelevant to me. I mean, I want to be the best five, ten years from now. And that's what drives me. One last question, and then I'll let you go, Junior. I'm wondering, what's your primary motivation for joining the league? I, uh, all I care about is being the best basketball player in the world. And I'm lucky, maybe someday being in the conversation for best of all time. Nothing else motivates you? Supporting yourself, maybe? Well, I'm extremely lucky to play a game I love, and this game can lead to a very comfortable life, as far as money goes. But I just want to be the best above anything. After that, everything else will just fall into place. All right. That'll wrap it up. Wait, that's it? That's it. Thank you very much for your time, Junior. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. It was nice to meet you. Nice talking with you. Best of luck in the draft. Thank you. So what happens next is the top decision makers from the team you interviewed with will review your answers and about it amongst themselves. Then we get a reset of your draft projections before we go to the next part of the draft cycle. OK, so how did I do? Like we said going in, it's not a good or a bad thing. Your answers are subject to the interpretation of the team and the kind of personality that they want. But your whole stock may reshuffle. Word will start to trickle out about how you did. Some teams will like you more. Some teams will like you less. Some will think the whole thing is irrelevant. So all we can do is wait. <laughs> Try and get some rest. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. I know, but it's a long road and we're just getting started. Pace yourself. At this point in the process, mid to late first rounders go through their own media session. You're not a lottery pick yet, so the stakes are a little higher and the press can be a little more probing, which can cut both ways. It can hurt you if you take your answers in the wrong direction or help you if you charm them. Well, I like the sound of the second one, so how do I do that? <laughs> Being here with this opportunity is the kind of thing that almost every person dreamed about as a kid. Own that, be excited about it, that connects to people. The interviews may seem peripheral, but every team watches them closely. Different teams like different personalities. What flies in Miami may not work in New York or Minnesota, vice versa. There's messaging here that's vital. You can really help your draft stock or hurt it if you handle this poorly. Be yourself, express who you are, but remember our larger end game, stay conservative. Eventually, that's where the larger endorsements are. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Junior. Hey, Junior. Junior, Junior, hey, everybody. Junior. Junior. Thanks Come for coming. Me. I'm excited to be here. Uh, Alex, you got the first one. Can you talk about your experience being here at the Combine so far?
Yeah, you know what? Uh, this whole thing, <laughs> this entire thing has been a dream come true. You fantasize about getting to the league as a kid, and I'm just grateful to be here competing against other players. Junior, any critiques about your game that you don't necessarily agree with? Opinions? Everybody's got one, but I know who I am. And the rest of the world will too once the combine games start firing. Obviously, this is an opportunity to make an impression and raise your stock. Tell us about your goals. Well, in the end, I'm just here to compete to get drafted. Yeah, it's gonna take effort in every single game, in every single drill, and all I can do is just give 100%. Junior, Junior. how do you feel stacked up against the other Highland Town? Uh, uh, all right, I'm sorry, guys. I gotta run a practice. Thank you for your time, Alex. I'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, Junior. You guys have a good one. All right, and we are here with the Hello. Are you getting settled in here? Junior. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks for the room. It's perfect. I'm able to relax and keep quiet. Oh, good. Well, that is the idea. You know, you have to have a space to disconnect from the process at the end of the day. Junior, maybe consider that advice we gave you. No sports news, not even games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying. It's going to help your stress level. I promise I'm trying, okay? All right, next step in the process. Pretty straightforward. The meat of the combine, drills, scrimmages. One of our other clients, um, Damian Lillard, <laughs> is going to be there when you arrive to give you tips and help you maximize the experience. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. I'm a big hey. fan of Dane. Yeah, all right. Use him as a resource. <laughs> that's what he's there for. Okay. And save the selfies for next year when you're in the league. Yes. Noted. Noted. Okay. And turn off the TV, bud. Right. Right. Good night. Night. Yo, damn. Junior, what's going on, man? Not much, man. I appreciate you meeting up with me, man. It's all good. Yeah. So how do I improve my stock in here, man? Because I'm... I'm nervous, man. You just got to go in here, test well. So hopefully you've been preparing for all these tests, the vertical, the bench press, making open jumpers, three-quarter court sprint, working on your one-on-one -on -one game, because you're probably going to run into that in here. So that's, that's going to mean something. Second, you got to be able to show your work ethic. When you're going through these drills, you got to be working harder than everybody else. You got to be in better shape than everybody else, because that's going to stand out, because a lot of people don't prepare like they need to for this. The third thing is just your demeanor, how you carry yourself, your confidence, um, showing up. A lot of people show up to this stuff and they depend on their reputation from high school and college. And they feel like they don't got to go through drills and they don't got to bring it. So if you show up and you do all of these things, I guarantee you, you're going to rise up the boards just like I did. OK, man. OK. Yo, you just dropped the whole world of knowledge on me, man. But I appreciate it. Hey, man, it's, it's simple. Do, do what the other players won't do, and it'll happen. All right, respect, man. I appreciate you coming. Sure. Here.